Hey, what's up guys, Captain Zach here. Well, we've got a breezy, sunny day. It's in uh, early July, and I'm just sort of drifting across a, uh, a shallow flat. So I'm gonna try kind of working up top around the shallow flat, just drifting, back trolling, bouncing some jigs, uh, and then also probably dropping off those deep edges just to see if we can uh, bounce it in front of a hungry Hallie. Fish on. Another small one. Another quill back. Maybe the same one. Fish on. Seems like every time it hits the bottom, I'm getting a bite here. First two are rockfish. This might be a little bit, a little better rockfish or maybe a sculpin. Yeah, a little better uh, quill back. Go back rockfish. Uh, three quill backs in a row. I decided to move spots just a little bit. Not too far, just a quarter of a mile or so, but just enough to get off that rockfish pile. Fish on. Not a huge one. Thought I felt some some decent thumps right off the bat, but now it's mellowing out. So I wonder if I found myself another rockfish. Yep, that's exactly it. Another nice quill back. Fish on. Oh, popped off. Oh, come on. I'm 12. Nice. Got him. <laughs> he just kept hitting it. He hit it, I missed it. He hit it, I missed it. He hit it, I finally cranked it. Oh, and another, another quill back. Okay, well that's, that's four or five of these guys up in the shallows, anywhere between like 60 and probably about 100, 120. So I think I'm gonna put a bigger jig on and start bouncing some, uh, some deeper drops and see if we can, see if we can find a halibut. They don't seem to be laying on top here, so maybe they'll be on the slope. Okay, I'm switching it up. I had the uh, eight ounce fire eye glow ball on. I actually had it on the GoPro rig, so hopefully we'll get some underwater footage there. But, uh, but like I said, too many, uh, too many rockfish. Every time I hit the bottom, I just got a, uh, a quill back. So I'm gonna try some deeper drops. I pulled out the 16 ounce uh, fire eye glow ball. Really loaded it up here. So two, uh, two chunks of herring and a nice, uh, a nice squid tentacle piece there. So that ought to do the trick. And now I can be sort of dropping it off that edge. So I might start. 150 maybe 180 and I'll probably drop it all the way down to you know down into the 300 350 range and as it goes down that slope I'm hoping there's a, uh, a halibut waiting for it <laughs> there's a sea otter probably 20 feet from our boat right now this is ridiculous <laughs> Oh well, I was a split second late. That was pretty cool. Okay, that's already dropping. We got kind of a crosswind and a, a pretty pretty reasonable current right now. So I'm already down to, into the 220 range before I'm even on the bottom. Perfect, 223. 223, 225, that's exactly 
and fish on. Oh, he popped off. Again, this side rock right now, which is kind of hard to deal with. 230, but basically got a bite the second it hit the ground. Hopefully they'll come back. Nice. Fish on. <laughs> Mary just said, I'm going to laugh if it's a rock fish. <laughs> and I think you might be laughing because I think this is a rock fish. <laughs> Uh, another, another quill back. <laughs> Different depth, same result. <laughs> well, this is getting ridiculous. That's probably about a half dozen quill back rockfish at uh, all different depths. So I'm gonna go even deeper now. So kind of the bottom of a, of a slope. So now I'm looking at, at 300 uh, as we speak and see if I can just get past those rockfish and maybe find a howley. Okay, on the bottom. So far, every other cast has yielded a, a rockfish within about 30 seconds. So, we'll see what happens here. Fish on. Oh, I hope this isn't another rockfish. 311 feet deep. All the way up. Just to go all the way back down with a deep water release. <laughs> it's in the in the 70s today. Way too hot out here to be reeling up and down, up and down and up and down without catching a, a howie. Oh it's like a flounder. Arrow tooth flounder. <laughs> Can you see why it gets its name? <laughs> I guess the only saving grace is I don't have to send it all the way back with a deep water release. At least this can swim down by itself. <laughs> okay, here we go. After I caught that flounder. Oh, it just popped off. Oh well. Caught the flounder out deep. Didn't feel like going, continuing to fish in three, 350. So now we're back in 100. And just got a bite. <laughs> yeah, my arms are too tired. Much easier to reel it in from 90, uh, 97 versus, you know, 340. That might have been a little howly. That had a little more pull to it than those tiny rockfish. You'll probably catch it now. Okay, just hit the bottom. I have a feeling the halibut's gonna come on this cast. No more rockfish. No more flounder. All howlies from here on out. You getting bites over there? It's okay, you distract the rockfish while the 80 pounder comes and grabs mine. Oh, well, Mary just had one on for a split second. It felt a, oh, it felt a little better. <laughs> so I think there's a sign of uh, halibut life down there. Right as I get nibbled by a rockfish. Oh, fish on. Good fish. Oh, yeah. Nice fish. Here we go. Yeah, big, nice one. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to drop? Yeah, don't drop. Okay. Woo! Here we go. Oh, right at 100 feet. Well, I thought I was getting nibbled by a rockfish. Quite the opposite. And then if I could just get the uh, gaff. Yes. 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 Okay. Okay, that's a real halibut. When I get some color, when I get some color, I'll hand it to you. 
Can you, but, but not yeah. remember what happened last time? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah, it feels like a decent one. I'm just trying to play it nice and slow here. Especially in shallow water. If you get them to the top right away, they go nuts. So, play them out. This might run again when it comes to the top. Okay, but don't hand it off to me then. Uh, I'll hand, I'll no. Here, I'll, I'll loosen the guy and just a touch. You're, no, but I, I might have a chance to... Yeah, it real quick. I see, I see. Okay, here you go. Just press it easy, just keep it slow and steady. Up, I'm just gonna up, let up. it, I'm just gonna let it go. Yeah, steady, up. I am. I okay. <laughs> can't. Down and up, down and up. Can you see it? Yep. Okay. I'm gonna need one more down, one more up. Nice fish. Oh yeah! <laughs> okay, well this is gonna get interesting. Now Mary's hooked up. And my fish is still right here on the ground. Yep. What do you want? This looks like it's coming up a little, a little easier. Okay. Oh. oh yeah, stripping some drag. <laughs> nice. Ready? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's cute. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. Oh. <laughs> Good. Uh, two Hallies. The big one's staying in. The little one's heading back. Ready? Woo. <laughs> Good move, babe. <laughs> you got it? No way! Are you kidding me? I was just getting ready to lift up this fish, and she's got another hell of it. Well, I'm gonna lift this fish up anyway. All right, you lift it. <laughs> Here's that awesome fish. Oh, probably about oh 45, maybe 50. Oh, just a gorgeous oh, fish. No, oh, no, oh. that one's off. Oh well. Oh, well, we'll have to get back down and grab them again. My arm. Oh, arms are getting sore. Yeah. That one? <laughs> <laughs> you got it? I don't know. <laughs> oh my gosh. You got it. Keep it tight. Like a second. My arms. Third alley in a row. <laughs> Oh, I haven't even got my line back down from that like 50 pounder. And this is Mary's third hookup yeah, since then. Yeah, but Pretty sweet action for a mid, a mid tide right now. Mid incoming tide, so we're not even right around the turn. Nice! <laughs> I can't catch you the small one! <laughs> oh. Nice, nice little Howie devoured that uh, that seven ouncer. <laughs> I assume we'll let him swim? Yep. Okay. <laughs> oh man, my arm. <laughs> no. <laughs> She's got bite again. I'm just getting ready to put my line back down. Yeah, that looks like a fish. I'm just getting back down to the bottom. Is it a decent one or? No, it's probably small. No, the way it's coming up. That's coming up. There might be a sculpin. Maybe. Okay. I'm back down. Either way, it's a fish. Yeah, that's true. It's a unit. Yeah, here it is, man. Oh, look at how cute it is! Oh my gosh, babe! Hold on, what's that? Ready? 
Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow, you talk about <laughs> That is a chicken nugget. And somehow that seven ouncer was able to do the trick. It's the only jig you'll ever need. <laughs> Yep, she's got a 200 pound halibut on this jig, <laughs> and she's got a quarter pound halibut on this jig. <laughs> yes, please, he's tiny. Do we have a fish on? We do, but it's small. <laughs> <laughs> you want the camera? Uh, okay, well. Let's see. I'm gonna keep mine down. Nope, but it is something. Oh, is that a kelp greenling? Yeah. Huh. I think it's a baby kelp greenling. <laughs> well, I was fishing with that 16 ouncer for a while and caught that really nice Hallie. But then we both just got nibbled, so I am kind of curious to see what's down there. We're in a depth range that allows me to put the GoPro rig back down. So now I've got the GoPro down there with the 8 ounce Fire Eye Glow Ball. So I was scaling down just a little bit in hopes of hooking whatever is uh, whatever's stealing our bait. So maybe we'll get a chance to, to see it with our own eyes. Fish on. Well, that didn't take long. Now we get to see what it is. <laughs> yeah, we finally get to see what was nibbling our bait off. Okay. Rockfish? Looks like it was a little Hallie. Oh, I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. So after about 20 seconds on the bottom, figured out what was eating our bait. This little uh, little chicken halibut. Just devoured that little late ouncer. Okay, we're sending him back. No! <laughs> you got it? <laughs> Sweet. A good nice little head thumbs there. Feel like a help? Hold on. Oh geez, I'm conflicted. I've got a bite now too. Oh, that's okay. Mine's coming up. Right. That's okay. You got center stage. You're prime time. I'm stage left with my with my bite. Oh, I see it. Yeah. You want it? Is that Hallie? Yeah. What, the little guy. Uh, hold on. I can. Ooh. Coming in hot. Oh, coming in really hot. Okay. Oh, 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 hold on. Seven ounce. Oh, hold on. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I got it. I actually, hold on. I actually have one on. I have, I have a halibut on. <laughs> okay, well, we've just got halibut everywhere right now. I've got one on this rod. Mary just flung one at me. <laughs> Here, I'll get it. All right. Okay, little guy. He's going back. Bye. Ooh. <laughs> I got a small one coming up too. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Number two of two. How about that? Two halibut in one minute. We're sending him back. I have, I have something. I don't even know. It's like slowly coming up. Definitely, it's not a fish. Oh, lovely. Gigantic chunk of seaweed on my GoPro. <laughs> awesome catch. Oh, well, I hate to leave the fish biting, but I think we're gonna, we're gonna call it a day, just wrap things up. What an awesome outing. I mean, we were just sort of drifting around, actually a new spot, just trying to cover some ground. I'd say we probably fished maybe like eight unique spots. So started, started up high, kind of on a shallow shelf, ended up getting a, a rock fish frenzy. So a bunch of quill backs just kept hitting. Started going down that slope, a little bit deeper water, down into like the 150, 200 range, more rock fish then pushed way out into like 300 plus, 350. Uh, not only was that an arm workout, but then a flounder hit. So I was like, oh no, we don't want to do that too much. So then came back to the top of the flat and just hit a, uh, an awesome school of fish. So we probably picked up about maybe six more little chicken halibut that we released. And then of course that one really nice one, maybe about a 45, 50 pounder. So all in all, just an awesome time exploring some new spots and uh, 
finding some halibut success here in Juneau, Alaska. Hey, what's up guys? Captain Zach here. Well, welcome back to Captain's Cleanup and we've got a beauty today, like a 45 to 50 pound halley. Just an awesome, awesome fish. Check it out. 